Hey there guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about UTM parameters. Okay, so uh, it sounds very complicated. Uh, it's not. Uh, I was asked to go in and put together a little uh, video to describe how, UT how marketing agencies use UTM parameters to go in and track what's going on uh, within the marketing campaigns. So, you know, today, as you know, you know, you have a URL hyperlink, you click on it, you go to a website, right? So that's a pretty clear cut type of path. And Google Analytics will track that just fine. The thing is, is you may want more information about that click. You may want to know where that click came from. Uh, you may want to know what campaign it came from. Uh, and you can even find out what group of customers or prospects it came from as well. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first place we start today is over here at the Google provided campaign URL builder. Okay, so you can find this very easily in Google search. Uh, look for URL builder, look for uh, UTM builder, um, anything like that uh, will bring this page up. Also at the end of this video, I'll I'll leave a, a QR code for you guys uh, to click on uh, so you can come to this page. Uh, this is where most people come to go in and build their um, their custom UTM uh, URLs. So say we want to go in and visit a website. Say we want to go and visit uh, uh, bashfu.com. Okay, so we're going to go in and say this is the site. I'm going to run a, a digital marketing campaign. I'm going to put a link in a, a email uh, campaign and I'm going to want them to go to https bashfu.com. Okay, that's where I want them to go. Normally, that's what I do. I would just go in and link that link. They would click on it. They visit the site. Um, maybe my website would go and tell me, hey, a visitor came in from a uh, uh, clicked in from email. That's great. Thanks for letting me know it came in from an email uh, as a referral link. Um, what what email? don't know okay um, this is where we go in and help to clarify some of this we want to go in and make sure that every click on that URL is placed into that email campaign uh, has the ability to to track where it came from so um, say you have a campaign ID you can say uh, say maybe you have a numeric campaign ID maybe it's the fifth uh, campaign of the year right we'll put a five in there campaign source like I said it was going to come from a uh, uh, let's see we're gonna send out a lead gen um, source and we're gonna say that it was an email it's a lead, lead gen email and we're gonna call the campaign uh, Q1 promotion okay uh, and then also in here you could go in and put the paid keywords say that you are creating a UTM specific to a paid campaign you put that in there uh, as well as uh, if you have uh, a B testing so if you're testing uh, whether this email or that email uh, it got them to that particular link you can use that here uh, it's not necessary but you can definitely do it uh, and then share the generated campaign URL here's the long form URL you could absolutely use this all you have to do is click copy campaign URL uh, and then you could go in and uh, shorten that link so click shorten the link bitly will, will open up um, I've got a bitly account I'll go ahead and sign in um, let's see oh no verification code we're not gonna do that right now but anyways you can shorten that link uh, make it a lot smaller uh, and easier to uh, uh, copy in so we're going to take this URL and we're going to copy it into an email campaign uh, that then what happens is is that when that link gets clicked Google gets uh, all of the information you provided within that URL and then they present that later I'll show you that here coming up hey guys so uh, this is uh, a uh, very common looking uh, Google Analytics page here uh, and I wanted to go in and kind of show you the difference between what a uh, email campaign coming in with UTM parameters versus a normal search result uh, click path would look like so just looking here um, we've got uh, under Google Analytics you go under acquisition uh, all traffic and then channels uh, you set your time frame uh, as to what you want to take a look look at 
Uh, and then uh, you kind of go through, uh, I, I did some scrolling through. Uh, a lot of this is, you know, how many people clicked on this page? How many people clicked on this page? Those are the individual results that come through. Uh, but then through referral, um, you can see the spring special. So we actually tagged a campaign coming in from an email uh, that uh, we called spring special. And so everyone that came in, uh, that came in on that spring special, uh, may have made a click on one of the links that we've placed inside that email. And this is how it came through. Uh, you know, as, as you see here, you know, we've got some uh, auto generated um, identi identifiers uh, added onto there. But, you know, like I said, going back to the previous page under campaign URL builder, you can make that read however you'd like. So uh, you, you have the ability to kind of even go in and export this information out and then sort it and uh, deal with it in that way. So you kind of get to understand uh, the success uh, of your campaign. So hope you uh, all enjoyed this and I'm going to be sharing the link with you shortly. Thanks.